How are you two feeling? Right, but now I have to look after him and comb his hair and don't have time to do my own makeup now. So, you know. Come on, how are you feeling after yesterday? Yeah, the roles have definitely changed between me and Sam. Um, he's looking after me well here. Meanwhile, doing the time trial today, um, I'm feeling pretty sorry for myself today. I'm regretting potentially getting back on the bike to finish this today. It wasn't a, it was a good idea at the time, but now that I know that my pelvis is broken, it's uh, it's quite painful to get around. Um, it's back to learning the basics of how to walk for a while, that's for sure. What were your immediate thoughts after the crash yesterday, then, mate? No, I didn't really have any. Just get back on. It's the Tour de France. You don't want to. Um, no one wants to go home from the Tour de France. Is it true in saying that you wanted to start today? I did want to start today after the stage yesterday. I finished yesterday, so technically I could start today. Um, that changed pretty drastically when I got out of bed this morning and realised I couldn't get out of bed this morning, so it's just been uh, that, that idea went out the window good. Would have been nice to start, but um, there was definitely no way that was possible. When, when the crash happened, what's it like to hear that he's gone down hard? Yeah, it was, it was horrible. Like, Greg came up and said, uh, is Shane all right? And I didn't know, like, I didn't hear anything of it. The first thing that went through my head was, I, he took a feedback, didn't he? He was after getting tangled up in that or something. But, uh, yeah, then I heard, like, he crashed really hard and then I asked in the radio where Shane, they said, yeah, he's back. I said it to Greg and he's like, no way he's back on the bike. That's unbelievable. Like, so then I knew he must have crashed really hard. But then when I saw him, like, he was pretty ripped up and uh, like I don't think I've, any, I've seen anybody just to deal with pain so well like he was obviously in pain but he just fucking got on with it you know we've, uh, we've both been for a lot in the last two years together but um, definitely gonna race plenty more races that's for sure hopefully I'm definitely watching on telly stage 21 see Sam um, do some impressive things <laughs> No pressure. You want the followers back? Yeah. Hey, do you hear what he said to Greg though, going up the club? No, go on. I hope this gets me more Twitter followers. Yeah. Has it? It actually has, to be fair. Yeah. For the comeback, this is going on the on the handlebars. Remember, bones heal, bikes don't. Flying mullet, so they'll get the uh, they'll get the motivation. Hopefully, in the next. Well, ideally in the next 10 days, but potentially in the next three weeks I'll be back on the bike. Rock and roll, mate. Do you want to let your mum know you're safe and sound? I rang mum this morning, thanks, Shoddy. She's uh, got it all under control. She wants to fly over, but apparently we can't get rid of you, so she can't really, can she? <laughs>